Hey guys. Today, shoulders, biceps. I'm gonna walk you through what I did. Put 35 pounds, 30, excuse me, 30 pounds on the barbell. Okay. I'm going for a little bit higher repetition. Not wanting a power curl here. And I'm doing a lot of sets. So. A lot of sets with 10 repetitions, so that's why I'm only putting 30 pounds on there because I got to continue to keep my reps up while doing my sets. So I'm going to burn those muscles out after two sets. Barbell, uh, close grip barbell curl. About like this, okay? That's what it's going to look like. Curling up, bring it down, curling up, keeping the elbows in the side. Close grip. The idea is that whatever muscle is exposed, okay, that's what you want. So you can see it a little bit, shoulder coming in, bicep, bunch of, uh, but the idea is that whatever muscle, whatever part of the bicep is exposed is the part you're going to be working. Okay, so if you're a close grip, what part's exposed most? Well, this part is exposed most. You see? That part is the part that's pulling me out. It would be better if I had a sleeping shirt on, but I don't know how to wear this one. Right. Anyway, um, shoulder press. Okay, that's a good movement because it's a compound movement. Uh, use multiple muscle groups. Sit there, 130 pounds, 10 reps. Lateral raises. To work those down. Trapezoids. Yeah, the traps. Um, I had 15 pounds each hand doing lateral raises. You know, you know what those are. Uh, front raises look like this. Okay, instead of having your arms out, they're in like this. You raise straight up, and down, up, and down. More like this, though. So. So you really get more shoulders into it. Okay. Um, 15 pounds again with that. Uh, 10 reps. Everything's 10 reps here. Regular barbell curls. Okay. You put your hands about waist, uh, about the distance of your waist apart, like this, curling up. That's going to work right here. Okay. You know, the show, the showy part of the bicep. Pretty much. Uh, the, the, this part of bicep. Ooh, not as showy, not as big of a deal, but you know, right here, that's that's where your peak is. That's what that's going to really work on. Uh, then I took shoulder curls, 40 pound dumbbells each hand. And you do this, okay? I can feel it right now. I, I work the crap out of those shoulders. Uh, these weights aren't high because I'm a beginner. Uh, I, you know, I've done weightlifting before. But uh, never consistently, and usually it's been a full body. Usually it's a full body workout, what I was supposed to do before. Um, as I've progressed, I'm really not a big fan of full body workouts because you tend to burn out one body part faster than another. The only way to really avoid that problem with a full body workout is to say you do a set of push ups and you go do a set of curls. And you do a set of shoulder presses, and you go do squats. The problem with that is that once you finish one set, working chest, shoulders, biceps, triceps, quads, um, abs, what, you know, you name the muscle. Um, by the time you finish one whole set, first of all, it's going to take about 15 minutes. Then you're going to come back and you've only gotten one good set in and you're already tired because so how many muscle groups you for? So I wouldn't really recommend that uh, because it doesn't seem like the best way to build muscle. This is just it's my personal opinion. It's just me talking. Okay, you can do you can do whatever works best for you. Uh, anyway, after shoulder curls, 10 reps, 40 pounds each hand, wide grip barbell curls, same way. Grab the barbell like this. And curl up, keeping those elbows in, okay? It's going to work the inner part of the bicep. So you get that nice little little line there. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but when guys flex their bicep, 
they have that wide. And that's what's going to get you that to a wide thing. So wide grip pull-ups, wide grip um, curls, things like that. Uh, this exercise is one of the it's one of the few that I use machines in uh, because machines take away from core contraction, which is makes almost anything a compound movement because if your core is contracted the whole time, you're working on those muscles. Um, now barbell curls not necessarily. Um, Uh, sorry, I, I'm getting ahead of myself. But I also, you don't want to use too many ISO movements. Uh, but barbell curl is not exactly an ISO movement because you're still using your chest and your traps a lot. When you think about it, you're holding and flexing all these muscles to do it. Not exactly an isolated movement, but not everybody can do those. Um, not everybody likes them, not everybody feels comfortable with them, not everybody has um, a back for it. Uh, my dad, horrible back. I don't think he can do barbell curls uh, right now, but anyway. Then barbell lifts. This is where I grab it wide, but instead of grabbing it like this, I'm grabbing it like that. Okay, bring it up. Try to bring it, you know, try the top of my chest and back down, bring it up and down. Really giving the traps a good workout here, working those shoulders. So that was one round. I do that two more times with reps of 10, and then I do a burnout set, which is where a burnout set is where you just do as many as you possibly can. Okay. And um, I was able to put up some pretty good numbers there, I guess. The numbers that were pleasing to me. Uh, obviously, I know there's people out there who lift twice as much as I do, twice as many reps, but my goal is not to compete with anybody. It's not to look exactly like anybody else. My goal is not to be able to walk into a room and say, um, no, hey, guess what, I can bench. Or when someone says, what do you bench? I don't really care if I'm high or low. I just want to look good, okay? So it's not about competing with people. It's not about any of that. So many times I walk into the gym and I see guys and they're just obviously they're just there to compete. You walk in, all of a sudden, they need to start putting more more weight on the bench because they got to bench more. Some other guy walked in, you know what I'm saying? They're going, okay, I probably couldn't bench what you were doing when I walked in. Ah, you had 40 pounds to it, and you're doing one, okay? Um, it's just it's not about show. It's just about getting to be the best version of yourself, physically, mentally emotionally, spiritually, that you can be the best version um, and move on, okay? Try to be the best version of yourself you can be in every way. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to look like anybody else. I'm just trying to look fit. I'm trying to, you know, obviously a certain amount of vanity goes into it, a certain amount of ego, you know, I want to have abs. I want to have nice, big, toned looking arms. But, um, you know, I'm just trying my best. Slow process. Like I said the other day, tip the day, enjoy the show, enjoy the ride, enjoy the journey. It's great advice, in my opinion. Just enjoy life while you're going along, okay? Um, I'll do a video later about what, what my specific diet plans are. But today's tip of the day, as I said, I will be giving a tip of the day every day. Today's tip of the day is, let me think, ah. eat before bed. <laughs> I guess, there you go, that's your tip of the day. Eat before bed. Your body is going to be rebuilding muscles while you're asleep. That's when the most, that's when the majority of that work happens. You're sleeping, your body releases proteins. Help rebuild those muscles that you pounded muscles like that, okay? Not that big, but I just want to keep showing you. 
Yeah, because guess what? I used to be fat, so I was still proud of how far I've come. Anyway, uh. <coughs> eat before bed, though. Don't eat crap before bed. Don't eat sugar. Don't eat carbs before bed. Even if it's a good carb, a complex carb. Um. Yeah, don't eat before bed. Or don't eat crap before bed. Eat pure protein before bed, okay? Eat cottage cheese. Eat whey protein. Eat protein, though, okay? Because your body's going to be breaking stuff down, rebuilding muscle before or while you're sleeping. Guess what? It kind of needs something to help that out. If you, if, you, if you haven't eaten four, three, five hours before you've gone to bed, you're not going to have as, as effective of a muscle rebuild as you will if you've eaten right before you, you go to bed and just you eat, you know, zonk out, go to bed. Uh, bada bang, bada boom, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm kidding. But, you, you know, that's what you gotta do, okay? Eat before bed, make sure you're eating good stuff. And you should be good. You'll be golden, okay? Uh, anyway. I will see you guys later. Have fun with whatever workout you're doing and eating right. Check you later.